So, you've already given me a, an idea as to uh, what we're going to be doing. Yep, uh, we've done the course once before, but I'll, I'll give you instructions of where to go and what to do, uh, in what order, but I'm likely gonna tell you how to do the exercises. Okay. Uh, that's down to you. Yeah. So we start off with a slalom, uh, and if you can go to the left of the first cone. Uh, Just adjust my mirrors. Weave your way between the cones, uh, try not to touch them. Okay, right. Okay. That's fine. Yep. Nicely driven. Yep. Good standard of driving. Thank you. Um, good control. Uh, we'll see how it differs after you've had your, your intake. Good. Let's get drinking. <laughs> you can, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> So just take a deep breath, seal your mouth around the tube and blow till I tell you to stop. That's it, keep going, 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 stop. Okay. It really does take a whole whole lungful, doesn't it? It does, it's after the, the deep lung air. It, it needs to get the, the very bottom of uh, your lungs. It's just analysing. It takes a little bit longer this time because you have had a drink. Mm -hmm. Are you expecting, what, what are you expecting at this point? Am I a fail or do you think I'll be okay? Um, it's, it's difficult to tell because it depends on a number of different uh, variants. You have passed, uh, although it has detected alcohol in your system. Right, okay, so I've had my uh, my one and a bit glasses of wine. We're back in the car okay. and we're going, to, uh, we're going to go through our test again. Exactly the same as we did before, yeah? If you're comfortable, then you know what, uh, you can remember what we're doing. Okay, right. Well, let's get going. I'm going to get this even better this time anyway. One glass of Pinot has Pino improved my, uh, my reverse parking. Look at that, you see. In some ways, it's improved it, hasn't it? It's better than the last time. <laughs> After a glass of wine. Right, here we go. So again, we'll, we'll crack on with the test. Yes. Um, so if I can ask you to seal your mouth around the tube. Okay, it's been half an hour since you last had your drink and I know you haven't smoked. No. Um, but if I can get you to seal your mouth around the tube and provide yes. me with one continuous breath again until <laughs> I tell you to stop. Okay, is that something that you feel you can do? Yes. No go problem, here we go. That's it, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, stop. Okay, I expect it to take a little bit longer than it did last time. Do you think I'm going to fail now? I wouldn't be surprised, <laughs> but we shall see. Do you think you're going to fail? Oh yes. Now I'm finding it funny. If this was reality, I would be absolutely petrified. I would expect you to be. You, you, this could be your livelihood on the line. Yeah, oh, totally. Certainly yeah. Your license. Surprisingly. I've still passed. You've passed. <laughs> only, only, only just. <laughs> I've only just marked 24, I've yeah. got another 10, I could have another pint or so. Uh, certainly it's not something that we would recommend. Um, and, it, and if I was to speak to you on the side of the road, my advice to you would be definitely not to drive. Really? Because I'm a bit silly? Y yeah, we, you, you, you're obviously affected by the alcohol, you expect your reactions to be a lot slower, your judgement to, um, to be off uh, and behind the wheel of a car. Well, well we'll see, we'll see, because I'm, you know, I do feel a bit bubbly now, but my driving might still be good. Um, Unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's, well, let's try it. I'm bloody bursting for the loo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I probably do smell of alcohol now. <laughs> I love it. I love your windscreen wipers. They're much better than mine. Oh, dear. I was the wrong person to invite for this. Someone, someone with a mild drink pop. <laughs> Here we go. Your slalom. The judgment was impaired on that. Uh, the first two slaloms you've done, you were staying quite close to the cones as you was going in and out of them. Uh, on that one, we was taking it quite wide to the degree that the third cone, you was very, very close to. 
I'll tell you where I noticed it. With this one, it was it was a bit more wonky, wasn't it, to get back into the space? Yep, uh, and I was getting the feeling that you were struggling to work out where the back of the space was as well. Well, you might notice a big difference next time. Hmm. I'm sure I will. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Well, let's go. <laughs> Sit, keep going, 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 stop. It really does take the whole lung full. It does. It needs to get, like I say, the deep lung air out to analyse that. That's, yeah. that's what we're interested in. We're not interested in the alcohol that's with, you know, in your mouth. We want the. I passed the last one. If I passed this, I would be amazed. And if if I passed this one, I would campaign for the drink drive limit to be reduced. If you if you pass this one, just because you passed the breathalyzer, okay, you failed, and you failed. You failed. actually failed quite spectacularly. Have I? Uh, you're more than double what you were on the last breath test. Right. Having drunk. Um, was it half again? Yeah, I've had a whole bottle of wine. Yeah. So yeah, you, you you provided a reading of 57, which is well above the legal limit of 35. Yeah. And I would I would expect in the next 20 minutes probably to exceed double the legal limit. I would be surprised. Yeah. So at this point, you would be under arrest and you'd be coming with me to the police station. Yeah. I'm got well. I'm drunk. So there's no way. There's no way I could drive a car now. No, and I, and I, I wouldn't expect you to be able to perform mm. the test very well either. What, the driving test? Yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's try it. No, I don't need you to get the door for me. Right. Okay. Th thanks, Chief. Now, now, we're going to do this sensibly. Yeah, huh? my feet are on the floor at the moment. Would you get in a car with me like this? No. no. Without your own pedals? Not at all, anyway. When you're ready, then. <laughs> you know you're not going to make that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. At least I knew I wasn't going to yeah. make it. At least. Oh, it's quite amazing, isn't it? Now you will not have to hit the brakes. They're on the floor. They're on the floor. Good. But you're I taking don't... it slower. Yes, but yeah. that's because, you know, I essentially don't trust me. I thought you trusted me last time. See? Look at that. Mm -hmm. okay. Parallel park when you're ready. Oh, I'm going to. You know what Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a fun drunk. <laughs> I have no clue where I'm going. I think you've just hit the car behind. I have not hit the I, car I think behind. You moved, you moved the cone. No, I have yeah, not. You, did. you moved the did cone. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, it would only have been a bumper to bumper scrape. <laughs> <laughs> not, not really acceptable, is it? No. Okay, take us out of here. Would have been a very slow speed there. <laughs> uh, I'd invite me to a party, Jeff. Should you? <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> I can't wait. How you can? Oh God, what did you do then? Just run the cone over. What? Can you stick the handbrake on for me? I've just hit a cone. Yeah, it's sort of under the side of the car. Do you want to get out and have a look so, so you can believe me? <sighs> do I need to reverse up a bit? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to have a look at it? Well, no, I trust you. <laughs> Need to go out a bit further before you. Turn. Yeah, I was having so much fun then until you just <laughs> ruined my fun, James. I do apologise. <laughs> right, here we go. 
Oh, did I move it? You did indeed. Right, well, don't worry. I'm going to regain myself with my emergency stop. Don't worry, I can see it. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I've been driving for a very long time. That's only been right. three minutes. No, I mean in years. I've driven for a very, very long time. You said I hit that co that cone. Did I? Hmm. Oh, Thank you very much. Hopefully somebody would take your keys off you if you was in this state. Would, the, would that have been terrible? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Give you've me still, your honest, honest you've, feedback, you've James. Still, Come on. You've still got some ability to drive, mm. which is worrying. Mm. Um, yeah, but I would do. I've been yeah. driving for a long time. Yeah. And you're used to driving. Exactly. Uh, you're used to drinking wine as well, not mm -hmm. driving. Uh, you've got some ability to drive still. Uh, but there's little things. The, the, the parallel park, you did nudge the cone when you went back. That would have been someone else's car or even someone that's between cars, a pedestrian stepping out. Mm. You also would have caught someone's car on the way out of the parking space in the pub. So on your way out. Uh, and the, the fact that you actually weren't aware of both of those, and one of them I had to stop you. I, was, I, didn't, I, I didn't wasn't want you aware running, of that. Yeah, I didn't want you running the cone over. That's why no. I stopped you. Because um, you actually, for the first time today, you actually seem to get, be getting a bit frustrated with yourself. Just going backwards and forwards because you were searching for that cone. Yes, because I'm looking in the mirror, I'm thinking that cone must be there because I've got the mm. steering lock on full blast. And I know I've got the car in a good position, and it, I couldn't see the cone. Mm. It's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Frightening. <laughs> I, I wouldn't drive like this. Good. Uh, I can smell that you've, you've clearly had a drink. You smell quite strong in your mouth. I've had a skin for. Yeah. I'll level with you. Okay. I've had a whole bottle of Pinot Grigio. It's easy for you to say. Um, because you've had a drink, I'm going to do a breath test on you. Okay. okay. Uh, have you done one of these before? <laughs> Several times this evening, yes. Okay. If I can then ask you to, to make a feel around the tube and provide me one continuous long breath until I tell you to stop. Okay. All right. Is this a, a new tube or are you making me it's breathe in my tube. own tube? Brand new tube. Deep breath and blow. <gasps> That's it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, stop. Okay. Just wait for it to anal analyse. I'm, I'm sensing detective. Oh, I might be very drunk. You, you think you might be over the legal limit? Let's wait I'm and very see. Drunk. Let's wait and see. <clears throat> What's the legal limit being 35? Let's I see. know that. You know I'm over the limit. I'm banged to rights. Well, failed. You failed. Failed. By how much? 44? It's actually dropped a little bit. 44. But still over the legal limit. Well. Well, I don't think I was blowing properly, officer. Do you not? No, take me back to the Nick <laughs> via still, the chip you would, shop. You would still be arrested. <laughs> but I still go back to my initial, my initial viewpoint that our drink drive limit at the moment is a, is a sensible one. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's one that... Um, it people... allows sensible human beings to be sensible. Yeah, there's the freedom there to still go out and yeah. enjoy yourself but not drink to excess. And, exactly. And put people's lives at risk. Yeah. But it, it is down to the individual at the end of the day and it is a limit, it isn't something that you need to aspire to achieve. Um, if you are going to drive, our message is always going to be don't drink. 